What up guys, this is Mac HT Tutorials. <clears throat> uh, this is last time's tutorial we did uh, the for loop. Let me just delete that code. And uh, let's work on the uh, what loop are we gonna learn today? We're gonna do either the do while or the while loop. Uh, I'm gonna do the while loop today because nah, I guess should that's like medium level of loop. The do while is kind of the hardest one, but <clears throat> Let's get started. Uh, do a simple example. Var i, give it a value to one. How about that? And then we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna say while. Here we put our conditions. While i is less than or equal to ten. Brackets document of course I spell it wrong document right I and I want some space also so document right and here I'm gonna put a oh, HTML brackets Right, that should be right, and uh, I'm gonna explain it now. Simple while loop. This does the exact same thing that the other one did. It's gonna display, but this is while this condition is true. The other one you knew how many times it was gonna do it, but this value can change. So base. Oh wait, this is really it's like an infinite loop because this is gonna happen. This is a mistake that a lot of people do, and I kind of just did it right now. All right, this is an infinite loop, and I'm going to explain why. The reason why it's an infinite loop is because, all right, i equals 1. It is less than 10, so it's going to do this, it's going to do this, it's going to, it's going to keep on doing that because i is never changing. You have to increment i by 1. You can either do i equals i plus 1. You could do that. Or if you're just adding 1, this is the increment symbol, plus plus. So if you didn't have that, it's going to be an infinite loop. It's just going to keep on displaying I, one, 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 forever. Here, it's going to do it once. It's going to display it. It's going to display one. It's going to add, add a space. And then it's going to add one to I. It's going to go back on top to, to, to check the condition. And I equals two. So it's going to keep on going until I equals 10. Because I have the equal symbol right next to it. So it is going to display 10 times. Now uh, let's go to design, let's click run, and there you guys have it, and <clears throat> pretty simple, uh, let me think of a uh, better, uh, better way of uh, explaining it, alright so basically the difference between this one and the for loop is that the for loop it's mostly mostly used if you know how many times you want to repeat something because you can just change this value then but if you don't you want to just check the condition so like something is false then I recommend using this one the, dis the difference between the for loop the while loop and the do while is that the do while it's still gonna do it once I'm gonna explain what I mean that it's still gonna do it once and uh... <clears throat> explain it real quick so I'm gonna I'm actually gonna do both because it's pretty early right four minutes so I'm gonna do both and let's do uh, I already made a variable let's do do and then here we put while and here we put the condition so we put I it's less than or equal to so let me explain this so here it's it's the code blah blah you put whatever you want in here but it's still gonna do it once before it checks the condition and uh, let me just put some code in here so you can see how it works I'm gonna put document right I and then we're gonna increment by one Oop, there we go. And I'm gonna run this. This one checks it 
once. So here you have it, you have the exact same output except for this one. It, it does it once before it checks it. Kind of get what I'm saying? So if it, this equals 9, it'll go all the way to 10 again. And then I'll check if it's if it's less than or equal to 10. This is pretty useful. I, I normally don't use this loop. I just use the uh, for loop or the while loop. But there you guys have it. That That is the dual while loop and also the while loop in one tutorial. Next tutorial, we're probably going to be learning uh, maybe get started in arrays and functions. Hopefully functions because that's main thing you gotta know in uh, JavaScript but uh, see you then guys don't forget to like this video subscribe and later on today I am doing a uh, a phase speed art two videos in one day a phase speed art and uh, please watch that video give it feedback and uh, thanks for watching guys peace out